Well, uh, you know, it's good good to have a weekend off. Uh, we've been at at it for uh, quite some time now since uh, there that last week of July. So I think it was, uh, you know, a weekend everybody enjoyed, players and coaches alike. Not, uh, you know, just having a little bit of time off with family, catch your breath. Uh, it's a long season, and uh, with playing week zero, we'll actually have two bye weeks. So it, it works out, I think, pretty nice for us uh, in terms of you know the break here at, at week four. Week five, and then and you have another one there the first of November. So uh, I thought it was good. Uh, last week we had you know three good practices, three good uh, workouts in the weight room. Uh, it was you know not, never a lot of fun practicing after a loss. Uh, you, you'd like to win going into a bye week, which we weren't able to do, but uh, we were able to get out there and get better and fix some of the things that, that uh, we're struggling at, uh, shore up some things offensively, defensively, and I think uh, that that sets us up for. Uh, uh, success in the future. So I thought it was very productive by week, much needed and uh, refreshing. And now uh, I get to turn our sights towards Warner and uh, finally opening up at home. You look at Warner so far at the tape. What do you see? Well, you know, just, you know, see a football team is going to come in here and give us their best and, and we're going to give them our best. And so uh, there's uh, some opportunities there uh, with what they do defensively, offensively for us to, uh, you know, we got to get some things, uh, like I said, uh, fixed uh, with what what we're going to see from them. I'm not going to go into great detail on on uh, the game plan, but uh, there's some things that we've struggled at that we've got an opportunity to go out and uh, improve on uh, against uh, what we're going to see there. Uh, they're they're not having the, the best year. I think they're sitting at 0 and 3 right now as well. So uh, uh, I'm I'm not as concerned with them as I am us. Just going out there and and playing at the level of. Uh, Lumberjack football that we're capable of. I don't think we've uh, even reached near uh, that standard. And so uh, hopefully Saturday in front of the home crowd, we, we play a little bit better uh, in terms of what we've uh, been accustomed to and what I think this team can do this this year. Nathan. Coach, overall, physically, how do you think the bye week helped your team just like, just, yeah, like you said, I mean, get refreshed and getting just healthy if, if they're all banged up or anything? No, it, it was really good. We we tried to uh, you know shorten some things down for the guys that have been playing a lot in terms of getting our legs back underneath us. There were several that were in the training room or limited practice, and so uh, uh, without not having to press for a game on Saturday, you're able to uh, you know sit those guys a little bit and get them healthy. Our our training staff does a, a, a fantastic job, uh, always have. So uh, that it was a good week for those guys that were bumped and bruised. Uh, and, and we really put a lot of time and emphasis on our young guys, our young guns, as we call them. Uh, we had uh, several scrimmage opportunities for them throughout the week. And then Thursday, we allotted about half that practice. To, we were full pads, and it was a live scrimmage for, for a lot of those guys that haven't seen, you know, a lot of snaps uh, so far this year. And so it was, it was pretty lively and a lot of fun. Thursday to uh, to see those guys work that have been you know a lot of those guys are scout team guys or you know third string players and and so uh, they were they were having their fun under the sun and uh, it was it was a really good scrimmage and and uh, future's definitely bright with those guys and obviously it's been about a month now since the start of the season you're finally at home like how excited is the team to be at home not having to travel and all that stuff well, I think everybody's excited. Uh, players, coaches, fans, uh, support staff, families. Uh, I think uh, I haven't confirmed this, but I do believe we are the last remaining uh, program in, in college football that's not played a home game other than Simon Simon Frazier, but they're not in America. They're, they don't get to play at home because because they're up in Canada having to play their home games in, in the state of Washington. So uh, it's not very often you get to week five of the season and, and hadn't played a home game, but that was out of our control. We can control what we can control, and that's uh, – um, our opponent this week and, and finally getting to play at home. And so we're excited. I think there's uh, looks to be a big crowd. Uh, it's family weekend. And, and so uh, hopefully we Lumberjacks come out and play well in front of a big crowd and, and they uh, like what they see and come back uh, for the remaining four games. How often do you, do you talk about as a team about just winning for the fans who give their time, money, and all that stuff and just like rewarding them for like using the fans specifically as motivation to win? Well, you know, uh, there's there's a little bit of ego in all of us, players and coaches, and and uh, you know, there's there's fans up there, there's uh, supporters, there's boosters, there's parents, uh, family members, and 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 there's uh, some pretty girls up there in the stands too. And so uh, I, I'll let the players speak for themselves, but you know, you want to you want to play well for all those people up there, you know, uh, and uh, you, when when you uh, are hanging out in college and and uh, walking through the student center, the calf, or you know, some. 
Saturday night party, what you want people to point out there, there's a football player. Man, he's awesome. You know, they played well. And so you you've got a lot of uh extenuating and motivating factors that sit up in those bleachers, whether it be a girlfriend or mom or grandma or or, or what have you. But you do want to play well uh, for those that do support you. We've got we've got tremendous support here throughout the community, uh, both financially and just, you know, with with showing up to games and, and uh buying season tickets and everybody can do a little. And uh when everybody does a little, you get a lot accomplished. And, and uh, so, so we want to go out and play, play well for all those involved with this program. And from what you've seen from Warren, like what do they do with well? Like I guess just X's and O's wise on both sides of the ball. Say, say that again. The what? The what? Yeah, defensively, they fly around. You know, they they play hard. That that's always a sign of a well coached team. Uh, is is how hard they play. You can. You know, I always like to watch them on uh, field goal block, PAT block. You know, somebody's just scored on you. You know, what is your effort? You know, are you are you dialed in? Are you are you giving it your all? When there's only one point involved, it's a PAT. It's usually a given that it's gonna gonna be made. And and those guys play hard and and run the football. You know, de- uh, offensively, you know, they had an injury there at, at quarterback. I'm not sure who we're gonna see there, but they've got some some uh, really talented receivers, a really good tailback. You know, that can scoot. And so, uh, you know, they're they're gonna have some guys. that are gonna be tough to get down on the ground, and we're gonna have to tackle well. And that that's uh, an area that you know we've been working on and need to improve. And and then just you know really playing defense comes down to you know what we do and that's fitting up and 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 let's make sure we run and execute the defense properly and uh be where we're supposed to be be gap sound offensively you know they're going to run around and hit but we we've, we've got to we've got to operate and, and see some production and what we do on a down to down basis we we need to be better on first down uh that's one thing just you know get some time to self scout uh, through the bye week, and, and that's one area that we need to be more efficient offensively is on first down and having some positive yards uh, to make second and third down much more manageable. So uh, great opportunity to do that this Saturday. Lawton, just talk about uh, how's it feel to play a home game this week. Oh, being at home is finally – It's it's been a long time since we've been able to do this, but we're looking forward to it. It's always a great time playing at Homer Bryce, so uh, we're looking forward to the opportunity. Um, uh, we do have uh, 10 in a row home wins here at Homer Bryce, so we want to try to continue that streak, and we have to do that by winning the first one. Um, so that's what's been on our mind, and uh, that's our goal to go out this week and get the W. As an, an offense, how's the unit feel uh, right now? Offense is uh, – we, we've been working through a lot of uh, our own issues. I mean, we've been self-scouting, like Coach said. Um, we had the bye week to look at ourselves and really invest in what we need to improve on. And uh, speaking just as a wide receiver, in the wide receiver room, we want to finish the contested plays. We want to make the tough catches. Um, we just feel like if we do more of that, that's going to have a spark to our offense and just give us a little bit of ump that we need sometimes. And uh, there's still a lot of confidence in the room, though. We have a lot of playmakers on the side of the ball. Wherever you look, quarterback, offensive line, running back, wide receiver, we have a lot of playmakers and a lot of ability. So we just want to go out there and uh, play our game. Nathan. Yeah, you know, people talk about how you learn a lot more from the losses than the wins. And so what do you think you guys have learned as players from the losses that you think you can, you know, help you get some wins? Well, yeah, for sure. So when you when you lose, you really look at the film in a different type of way because when you win, you, you see your issues and you still found a way to win. But when you lose, you can look at those and notice that's maybe what lost the game for you. And um, we've had a few, a few bit of those um, just looking back at the film. Just thinking about, we had a lot of third and out, three and outs in our last game, and that's something that we want to really focus on this week is just moving the ball, um, particularly on first down, cutting the downs in half, make uh, second and medium a whole lot easier, and just continuing the drive. And uh, our coaches always say first downs equal touchdowns, so that's what we need to uh, focus on this week. Do you all look at the fact that this is your first home game? It's kind of like a blessing in disguise in the sense that now you got plenty more home games left. Yeah, for sure. Uh, it's always fun playing here in Nacogdoches. I mean, the fans show out. It's a really fun environment having the fans down on the field, up in the stands, and the band. Uh, the band's also a really good uh, good addition there, and, and we haven't heard them yet this year, so we're really looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we just love playing here in Homer Bryce, and we want to continue that streak and make that at 11 games, and hopefully we can continue it through uh, throughout the year. Team chemistry is good. I mean, obviously, we're, uh, we've been a little disappointed with how the season has started. We felt like we've had um, a lot of some opportunities to go out and make some noise, but 
now we, all we can do is just look forward and we still have a lot of our season ahead of us and we know what we're capable of and uh so we're, we're keep on motivating each other keep on talking to each other and we know what we can do so we just need to go out and do it at this point